welcome to Tattered Stitch Embroideries. We've had many questions about how to create our fridge handle wraps, so today we have created a project and we're not going to go over it for you. First I just want to go over the materials list that we'll be using for this project. I do give sizes and dimensions in the PDF instructions, but I just wanted to also physically show you. We have a panel of batting that we're going to be using. We have the back panel that we're going to be stitching very last two pieces of fabric right here that will be our borders and then one more panel of white that we're going to use for the wildflower artwork and then instead of using velcro for this project i'm going to finish it off with cam snaps so i've got my eight pieces of cam snaps i've hooped my stabilizer i'm using a tear away now i'm going to go ahead and i am going to run my placement stitch With my tack down stitch complete, I'm going to layer a panel of batting and then I'm going to put my fabric down on top. I'm going to tape it into place and I'm going to run my tack down stitch. The next two steps are actually designed so that you have a placement stitch and a tack down stitch for Velcro. Because I want to use cam snaps, I went ahead and I skipped through those two steps and now we're going to work on the main design of the pattern. Now that my wildflowers are finished stitching up, I'm going to go ahead and run my placement stitch for my top border. You'll see that my placement stitch has been finalized, so now I'm going to lay down another panel for my border. Nice side face down, tape it into place, and then we're going to run a tack down stitch. With my placement stitch done, I'm going to fold my fabric up. I'm going to press it into place using my fingers, kind of get a nice seam going. Tape it into place and then I'll be running the tack down stitch for this. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat the process for the bottom border. With the borders finalized, I've laid down my back panel of fabric, and there are two steps for this. One tack down is just a single run, then it will stop, and it will want to do another tack down, which is a triple run, which will give your piece more strength when it's finished. With the project complete, I'm going to tear away my stabilizer and I'm going to trim away my fabric. I'm also going to get the stabilizer that's kind of in between the stitching here. Okay, now I'm going to trim my fabric and clip my corners. This is the edge that we're going to use to flip inside out with. As you see, there's an opening. So when I trim this, I'm going to trim it right up to the end of the stitches. And I'm going to leave a wider space of fabric right here. So that when I flip it inside out, it'll be easier to sew together. Now the project is ready for me to flip inside out and poke up my corners. Now we have our fridge wrap. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press it before I stitch together my edges 
and then I'm going to measure an inch in on each edge of my border over here on this side for my cam snaps so that they go right here. I'm going to set my snaps and then I'll go over here and I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll just kind of line up snap to snap. I'll just kind of figure out how snap to snap they go and then I'll place my second set of snaps and the project is done. So thanks so much for stopping by today and watching our latest video release.